Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to scan a QR code in Slack. Did you know that you can quickly join Slack workspace or access invites just by scanning a QR code? And today, I'll show you how to scan a QR code in Slack easily on your phone. Just by following these few simple steps. So let's start by following these steps together. The first step is to open the Slack mobile. Now if you don't already have the app installed on your phone, whether you're using an Android or an iOS device, go to the Play Store if you're using an Android or if you're using an iPhone, just go to the App Store and search for Slack. After you find this application, click on install and make sure you install it. Now after you open the application, make sure you sign in or click on add workspace if you already logged into another workspace. Now the third step is to select scan QR code and to do that just slide here by the left and click on add a workspace and click on sign into another workspace and as you can see this is the option that says scan a QR code. Click on it. Now it will ask permission to access your camera. Click give it the permission and the camera is open here. Now the fourth step is to scan the QR code. Point your camera at the Slack QR code and it will automatically detect and sign in or send a workspace invite. The fifth step is to follow the instructions. After that, you're gonna accept the invitation and you're ready to start chatting. And that's it, you're now inside your new Slack workspace with just one scan. Make sure you have a stable internet connection and if the QR code doesn't scan, increase screen brightness or restart the app. Scanning a QR code in Slack is the fastest way to join teams and start collaborating. All it takes is just one click. And this was it for today's tutorial. If you liked this video and found this helpful, please like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment below the video if you have further or more questions about this topic. Thanks for watching and see you again in the next tutorial.